Hi guys, my name is Jason Marshall, and on today's episode of Jason's Model Shop, we will be continuing with the Ravel Klingon D7 Battlecruiser right after this. So as you can see, I've done some painting. I like the uh, grayish-green look to it. And I've been working on windows, which you can just see in there. And... Um, I'll show you, I'm trying a different technique than I usually do. Um, did the painting and installed them afterwards. So I've already removed a window from the sprue. Handy sprue cutters here, which I resisted for years, and now I highly recommend them. Because we can get a nice, clean cut. Just using some white glue, and a brush, and get some, uh, get some glue on the brush. And just uh, brush on the glue very carefully. You just reach in. You can see the window go into place. And you just push it in from behind. And it's very important to make sure that it's facing the right way because of the, uh, the angle or the curvature of the onion bulb. And yeah, I'll do a little bit of cleanup. Sometimes you get a little bit of excess on there. Some water and a Q-tip, and then just uh, yeah, dry it off with the other end, and there you go. I uh, attached the command deck and neck to the body, and this is actually temporarily on because I want to do uh, a bit of a lighting test and just see how everything fits. And I did go ahead and mount it to a uh, to a rod. Um, and put the top on, but this opening here, where the impulse deck goes, still gives me access to everything I need. Uh, so normally uh, I use brass rod, but I want to uh, try a new material. A fairly lengthy uh, quarter inch brick line, 60 inches long. And uh, it turns out actually uh, really good for mounting. You can buy these at parts store. And you can also pick up a pipe cutter there as well for uh, just a few bucks. I'm going to give the pipe a cut. I cut off the flared end where the nut is and uh, just give you a rundown on how this works. So I've uh, opened up. You can use this uh, little knob at the top. And there you have it. It's uh, closed up on the rollers and there's the cutter. And you just turn it, tighten it, turn it, And there you go. From there, you get a nice clean cut. Uh, there's a little bit of burring, but nothing a file can't take care of. And uh, yeah, um, I th I might be wrong, but I think this part number is universal. So S460, quarter inch, 16 inch long. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up uh, for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe. And don't forget to check back every Wednesday for new content as well as some of my other videos. 